know the dance. Watching us um, today, and then those on our platforms um, um, Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, Twitter. We'd like you to know that in the spirit there is no distance. So, God certainly, through all these mediums, will meet you at the point of your needs. Stay glued to your set. Help me with the monitors, please. Stay glued to your set, and um, I'm certain God will definitely bless you. Amen. You cannot hurt somebody, but at least you can wave at the, at the person and tell the person, Hi, God bless you for coming tonight. And uh, today, I'm certain God will bless you. Tell your neighbor, I'm certain God will bless you, and you'll never be the same. Amen. Is that Prophet um, Nunude? Oh, how are you? Wow. Oh, give him a, a seat here. Amen. God bless you. And fix somebody at his place. Amen. Do you come with your wife? How is she? Sweetheart, come sit here. Yeah. God bless you. Amen. Let's clap for them. Powerful. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, Pastor uh, Shaw, please help me fix some people there because of the cameras. Get some people to be fixed at the, at the places. Amen. Um, if the King George can come in there, that will be fine. Yeah. And then and get on the pressing. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready for the word? I said, help me with the monitors a bit, please. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm speaking um, briefly today on what I've titled the goodness of God. In the midst of this pandemic, um, people have felt, are made to feel like God is not good because some are losing their jobs. Um, some uh, having their loved ones um, contracting the virus and uh, some are dying and so people are like where is God in the midst of all this is he really a good God is he a bad God yeah in bad times and in good times he's still God and he's still good can we clap for his goodness amen <laughs> praise God so a couple of scriptures to let you know God is indeed a good God reduce it just a little Reduce it just a little. Thank you. Psalm 73 reduces just a little. Psalm 73, the verse number one. Psalm 73, the verse number one. Truly, God is good. I know we are all studios. If you hear the word truly, it's a statement of affirmation that tells you that what he's saying is affirmed truly like surely surely like assuredly i say to you truly affirmatively god is good that means that covid 19 or not truly god is good lift your right hands up say truly my god is good all right so truly god is good to israel to such as appear in heart so that you don't say that the Bible only spoke about God being good only to Israel. He said, to such as are also pure in heart. That brings all of us in. That though you are not an Israelite, a Gentile, but as long as you are born again and you are pure in heart, God is not only good to Israel, but he's good to Ghanaians. You aren't clapping at all. Hallelujah. All right. So lift your right hands again. Say, God is good. Hallelujah. Psalm 145. It's okay. Psalm 145 verse 9. Psalm 145 verse 9. The Lord is good to all. Not some. Least we say he's only good to Bishop Brookman. Least we say he's only good to 
a certain class of people in the community the lord is good to all not only to politicians he's good to all the nobodies the afterthought the rejected dejected in the society god is good to all that's why when it rains god doesn't choose trazako but it rains in the whole of accra he's good to all and that's why i'm certain that today to the end of the year if you've not as yet had a portion of the cake get ready the goodness of god is coming towards your direction you didn't say amen at all i did a little english in school all means all including me it means that if you even had a bad day last uh, yesterday or had a bad time last two three weeks god is good to you go to those in kaswa go to those in amasaman go to those um, um, living at Trazako, go go to those in Accra, go to go those in Boli, Bamboy, Wali Wali, Tamale, all the least. God is good to all, including your family. Even if they are not in this house, God is still good to them. Can you clap for the goodness of God? Mark chapter 10, the verse number 17 and 18. Mark 10, 17 and 18. Now, as he was going out on the road, one came running knelt before him and asked to him go teacher this is um, 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 um jesus somebody referred to him as good teacher what shall i do that i may inherit eternal life and i thought jesus enthused with people's salvation will go straight on and address the case of the man but he took the pain to address the word good he said go teacher what shall i do that i may inherit eternal life so jesus said to him why do you call me good no one is good but god that is but 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 one that is god which means that there is no other person good except god your mother has done her part but she's not good more than God. Your president has done his part, but he's not good more than God. Your class teachers have done their part, but they are not good more than God. The scientists have done their part, but they are not good more than God. Can I talk to somebody here? Nogotri has done its part, but they are not good more than God. There is none good except God. That's why I came to tell you that your God is a good God. Irrespective of the apparent contradictions and the negativities happening, God is still God. And I thank God that some are putting their trust in horses and in chariots. Some are worshipping stones and rocks. But a God who measures the cloth with his fingers and has got the whole world in his hands i came to tell you he's a good god if i look at the village i come from and how far he has been merciful to me he is indeed a good god some people are denying the fact that god exists well it's their own cup of tea but that which i've tasted i've handled and i've witnessed you can't take that from me i was a nobody when he made me a somebody i by the grace of god from the kind of family now have a wife with children that i can feed and pay their school fees man God is a good God I came to tell you he's a good God if you've not as yet experienced his goodness get ready yours is surely on the way coming from now to the end of the year you will experience his goodness if you believe he's good clap them hands and give God praise would you let's run through some 12 facts about his goodness quickly some 12 facts about the goodness of god the 12 facts about the goodness of god the first fact is in act chapter 10 the verse number 38 act 10 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy spirit and with power who went about doing good so jesus who epitomizes the whole of god was walking on the face of the earth and he was doing good and i was like doing good what exactly was he doing and then i saw the continuation put the scripture there doing good then and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for god was with him so god through jesus was healing people to demonstrate his goodness that tells us that healing is part of the goodness of god i don't know who is sick here today but i came to tell you god can heal the sick 
sick i lived in Europe for 14 years and i told you when he told me to come back to ghana i told god i won't come because looking at the euro and looking at the cities can i be real hallelujah but one night i had an attack i got up in the next morning i went to the hospital and my doctor told me my pastor visited my lord pastor you are sick i said how possible they are examined me and he said no you are sick uh, this is instantly i understood that god was really telling me leave this place and go back uh, i went to my closet i told the doctor you are ripped too sweet i'm coming right away i went to my closet i knelt down i said god touch me i'm ready to go heal me of this my sickness i thank god i went back the next day to the same hospital the same doctor looked at me and he said my pastor who said gary pastor you are healed and i told the i told the doctor that god is good he has healed me he will heal you i don't know who i'm talking to but high blood pressure will leave your body cancer will leave your body hiv aids ebola yeah 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 came one way at her and I made an announcement to the members that no sickness and alight on your body for your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost and nothing happened to them I came to tell you same way in this COVID-19 pandemic you are covered your house is covered yeah the world don't believe in this yet they believe in vitamin C they believe in all this I've told you respect all the protocols but after it is said and done looking on to Jesus the author and the finisher of your faith can I talk to somebody here god is good and he will heal you because jesus went about doing good and healing them that were oppressed by the devil anybody oppressed i came to tell you the oppression is about to see anybody depressed in this house his goodness is about to deal with your depression one lady called me and said papa i want to commit suicide i'm sick and tired of being sick and tired i lost my job i lost my uncle who is in the uk in this pandemic and where is god in the midst of this my uncle that fends for me and assists me i want to end it as a sweetheart let's pray i pray with her and i told her god is good don't throw in the towel look unto him he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above what you think or ask two weeks later she called me and said pastor get what now i have the peace of god within me that even if i lost my uncle i still have god that is what i want you to behave i prophesy on you today that his goodness will locate you even in your sickness if you believe it clap and shout hallelujah can i preach here the second fact about god's goodness is in james 1 17. james 1 17 for every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the father of light with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning but i want to measure on the first bit it says every good and every perfect gift comes from above because god is good he will give you gifts and the gifts he'll give to you are perfect gift and good gift which means that if he gives me a gift of a husband that husband will not be an alcoholic he will not be a 419 abuser who will beat me every morning every evening every afternoon he will be a good husband a man i can wake up at dawn and look at and say my goodness you bless me with a man can i talk here if god wants to give me a wife he will not give me a witch he'll give me a woman i will look at now say my mommy this is indeed a gift from above i declare that your children god will give to you will not be delinquent and wayward and rascals and they are true ones in the society uh -uh. every good and every perfect gift he gives is a good gift and a perfect one i prophesy that this job coming will be a perfect job can i preach here i declare on you that this new chapter about to open in your life will be a good chapter you will not be depressed after you've called it a testimony no it will be a blessing the bible tells us clearly in the book of proverbs that the blessings of the lord makes rich and adds no sorrow to red when god blesses there is no sorrow attached to red i declare a sorrow free life i prophesy a worry free life and i declare that from now to the end of the year goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you will dwell in the house of god if you believe god is good and what is about to do for you is a good and a perfect one clap and thank god for his goodness this brings me to my third fact 
Psalm 23, the verse number 5. Psalm 23, the verse number 5. Psalm 23, the verse number 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Who told you God can prepare a table before his children in the midst of this confusion? He's an expert at that. Yeah, if he laid the table before Mephibosheth in his horrible state and in his destitution God sent David to send Ziba to call for him and he came very tattered shouted and the Bible said he was crippled in both his feet yet there was a table prepared before him it was there I realized ladies and gentlemen that God preparing a table for you is not dependent on whether you have legs or not when your time of visitation comes nobody can stop God or bribe him out of blessing your life can I talk to you and Mephibosheth here he is a rejected and a dejected person in the society begging for arms somewhere in Lodiba now sitting by the table with the sons of the kings I don't care whether you had the daylight of education or not what I know is that when your time comes it has come I was once officiating a wedding in a church in Germany and I saw this our church deacon who was a professor in an university in Germany married to an illiterate God excuse me but I want to be real can I talk here and once they were, we were, we were officiating the wedding, I told the woman to say I do and she said I did that tells you that she married the man before they even came to the altar but with all her I did God has still honored her with a a professor in the industry what I realized that day was that when your time comes educated or not educated God can still let your last shine I came to tell somebody he will prepare a table before you I don't care about what your enemies think about you right before their nose a chapter shall be open for you are you ready for tables marital tables financial tables business tables educational tables they are going to be prepared before you bishop in my family nobody had had a, we a white wedding before get ready COVID-19 wedding can I preach here it's coming it's coming do you believe God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what you think of then get ready who oh, prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies get ready for tables that is where they'll be talking but you'll be eating can I talk here they'll be insulting but you'll be driving they'll be blasting lambasting castigating at you and yet you be living in a good house who told you and qualify for a good house the world wants us to pray shot club but we should not be successful I told you the other day that it's hard time that the church the body of Christ yes we are growing in number but it's time we have to infiltrate the arts and get into the music and get into politics so that when legislations are made we are people representing us there to talk on our behalf it's time the church must rise the church is not for poor people the church is for blessed people I declare clear over your life today that if you are a student get serious with your books this is the time for the church to rise I lose that grace upon your life can you stand up and shout like thunder let me preach so God will prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies are we in number four are we in number four yeah 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 number four number four the same psalm 23 verse number six psalm 23 verse number six surely again a statement of affirmation goodness and mercy shall follow me these are twin brothers <laughs> yeah yeah pain is goodness <laughs> and kakra is mercy and god is saying that the day you accepted him as his lord and your, your lord and your personal savior he he, he assigned these two twins these twins after you follow you all the days of your life not some days all oh, in bad days and in good days in depressed days and in covid days all the days of your life yeah 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 goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life which means when i lie down goodness lies with me when i walk goodness walks with me when i sit down in the comfort of my house goodness sits with me when i'm down when i'm bad when i'm very weak goodness stays with me ladies and gentlemen i declare on you that as you walk out of here get ready for a quantum 
goodness from above yeah his goodness will be after you 24 7 in essence his goodness shall be continual it's not a spasmodic thing it will not come and halt at a point even when you don't feel like having goodness god will let you experience goodness can i talk to you i don't know about you but there's been times where i don't feel like praying i don't feel like studying i don't feel like preaching i'm just like you it's the anointing sometimes people forget that we are human beings just like you it's the anointing that distinguishes us because we have been called to walk in this but let's say there are times we feel the same way you feel even in those times god says it's still good to us uh, can i talk to you may goodness follow you i said may goodness follow you may indebtedness not follow you may shame never follow you may tragedy never follow you may premature death never follow you may bad news never follow you instead may goodness and mercy oh come on clap and shout goodness 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 oh goodness goodness will follow you all not some of the days all the days oh lift your hands up say goodness follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever can you clap as you take your seats wow goodness of god goodness 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 and mercy shall follow me yeah let me just shock you with another fact of god's goodness 1 peter 3 13 am i doing good 1 peter 3 13 and who is he who will harm you if you become followers of that which is good who is he who can harm you if you are a follower you see because god is good anybody who follows him follows what is good and the bible is saying who can harm you if you are a follower of that which is good if you follow what is good who can harm you the day i read this i became cool about life so long as every morning i spend time with god and i'm beautifully following god nobody can let them take me to nokoko am i communicating and mention my name and 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 cajole some things expecting that my image will appear in a mirror for them to hit me they will see the holy ghost appeared yeah. oh you aren't clapping <laughs> who can harm you so that dream your cousin had last month and called you that sweet that i've had a dream about you that you're about to die go and sleep so long as you are faithfully serving god who can harm you if they like they should bring that balagba right in front of your gate you will step on it and it will be reversed back to sender who can harm you if you are a follower of that which is good that's why at your workplace let them do whatever you will still maintain your job and instead of you even loosening you shall rather be promoted can i preach here who can harm you if you are a follower of that which is good so long as you are loving the lord unbelievers are all over the place and drug and um, 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 what do you call it um, and barons are all over the place can i preach here you can talk about all kinds of people doing all kinds of fraudulent things and nasty people i'm robbers and 419 people are all over the place and nobody has destroyed them they are not dead they are walking free on the streets of the earth and you see, look at the way you pray and love god and they say what well, you will die before your time the devil is a liar i declare your life spared from every premature death and i prophesy that covid 19 cannot touch you and your family can you stand up and shout hallelujah clap and take your seat lift your hands up say who can harm me i can't hear you say say who can harm me if i am a follower of that which is good yeah and that which is good is christ so long as you are following christ you are unharmable bad english right uh, yeah but good theology amen <laughs> yeah nobody can touch you put your hand in your chest say nobody can touch me no no i didn't hear you say his name say no witch no wizard no agent of the devil no juju no powers of darkness no occultic powers nobody in my family can pour libations on my head and destroy my life in the city it's not possible are you clapping like that <laughs> Am I helping you, please? Let's look at number. Watch number. Hello? Number. Okay. 
Psalm 27 verse 13. I'll finish right now. Psalm 27 verse 13. I would have lost heart. I would have lost heart. Unless I had believed. Now this is King James English. I'll, 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 I'll explain in our modern English. That I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I nearly lost heart in the midst of the confusion. Until I came to a point where I believed that I will experience the goodness of the Lord in this land of the living. In the midst of this and looking at the statistics and how many people are dying, how many people have contracted it, I mean, it's very easy for you to lose heart. And a lot of Christians have lost it. Because they made it sound like you can go to market but you can't go to church. Can I preach? And they made it sound as if the thing was standing in front of your church gate. But you can go and vote during the primaries. Can you, pre can you clap for pastor? So, it brought fear. I'm not against you going to market because we have to eat. Very imper imperative. But I'm making a point. I'm trying to say that, you see, don't lose your heart. Don't lose don't lose your mind. I've been, you know, we have 200 branches and people have been calling some of the pastors and their members not even going to church. That is not even a preoccupation because, I mean, by the grace of God, with the TV, we have wider space. And I told you during the lockdown, we even affected more people than when the churches were opened. Because on the social media platform, we're really affecting people even outside the country and all those things. But my point is this. Don't lose it. Even if you are not coming to church, those of you watching me, RCC members who are scared to come to church and are watching via the platforms, don't lose it. People are so called in that they are even scared even of their own shadows. Our Bible says that those who are afraid to lose their life would rather lose it. Wait your hands. I'm not communicating here. God has not given you the spirit of fear. I think much as we are practicing social distance, we should begin to practice fear distance. Because people are injecting fear into... And listen... Oh, are you, are you clapping like that here? Uh, Job, Job 3.25. Job 3.25. Quickly, Job 3.25. Help me out. Job 3.25. Job 3. Let's read all of us. And they throw a cut. Uh -huh. For the thing I greatly feared has come on me. What you're afraid of always come on you. So fear alone can even attract the thing into your life before the, the, somebody even shakes you and gives it to you. I'm saying, have faith in God. Go back to the scripture I read. Yeah, the first scripture, the, first, the, the Psalm whatever. Uh -huh. Put there. The first, Psalm what? Huh? Uh -huh. Put it there for me. Psalm uh, 713. Help me out quickly, quickly. Psalm 713. MCR, can you be snappy? 2713. 2713. 2713. Okay, 27. And verse number 13. 2713. The Lord is... 27 13 i would have lost my mind my heart my emotions my thought i would have lost my life unless i had believed but it's it's when i believed that i would see goodness of the lord in the land of the living it is time you have to begin to tell yourself and i told you the other day about how powerful expectation is some scientists did some an experiment and um, they took two rats and put both of them in two barrels one of the barrels all of them were full of water one of the barrels um, um, was covered the other one was opened they came the next day the, the, the rat in the barrel full of water covered had died so they took it went and buried it and then the other one in the barrel full of water but the barrel not covered stayed in for six days before he died and then the conclusion of the experiment was that this one the barrel full of water that was opened was seeing the rays of light beaming through the barrel so intermittently it felt somebody was coming to redeem it so because of hope the rat was able to sustain itself for six solid days and then the other one died the first day to let you know that people who have hope they live longer than those who don't have hope am i communicating here are you clapping so no matter what believe that i won't die believe that god is on my side believe that if god be for me who can be against me believe that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world believe that the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord god will order my steps 
if per adventure I'm supposed to even encounter somebody who is positive, may God supernatural, I don't know how he would do it, but may he supernaturally move me out. And God is able to do that. Unless you don't believe God is able to do it. If you believe he's able, can you clap and shout yes? So don't lose your hearts. Never lose your heart. Point at a friend and tell him or her, never lose your heart. I didn't say shake, yeah, but point and tell him or her, don't lose your heart, never. But believe in God. What number are we in now? Hello? Maybe I'll get to number eight and we'll be done. Okay. Number seven. Number seven. Proverbs 14 14. Proverbs 14 14. The backslider in heart will be filled with his own ways. When people are full of their ways, they don't want to submit to any spiritual authority, any advice, and any counsel. And they're trying to tell them, do this, and they won't do their own thing. I'm used to this man. Everybody is saying that this man, the way we look at him, he may kill you when he marries you. But you say, this is what I feel God has done for me. And nobody, not my pastor, not my mother, not my uncle, nobody can talk me out of it. This is what I want. If people backslide, they are full of their own ways. But that's not the main thing. He said, but a good man will be satisfied from above. If you are a good man and followers of God are good people, you'll be satisfied from above. What God is saying is that He's going to bless you with blessings from above. You'll be satisfied. Your bank account will not hit zero. Can I preach here? You'll be satisfied from above. Yeah, 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 yeah. Favor is not labor. Good to labor. I probably am one of the most youngest, most hardworking youngest men in this country. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm not saying that Christianity is it's not labor you have to be hard working but but ladies and gentlemen favor is different from labor labor brings your blessings from abroad yeah but favor brings your blessing from above can i talk to you here yeah 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 when you have favor on your life yeah td dick said favor is not fair favor will let you attract what you don't deserve i'm working in some blessings i don't deserve them it's all because of the favor of God and I'm here to announce to you that God is about to superimpose some favor on you that will attract some blessings you have never prayed for they will just come anyway are you clapping for favor it's coming on your life yeah yeah so he says that the goodness of God will be released from above upon our lives let's do some prayer lift your hands I say in the name of Jesus I ask for favor, ask for yeah, favor. and the blessings of God blessings even from above upon my life upon my say life. satisfy me oh god me, oh with god. the blessings from above the blessings in the name above. of jesus use one minute and pray god satisfy me emotionally psychologically in business in health in ministry in education our country satisfy us come on talk to your god liko shaba liba ekradasta pantalita liga de shubaba liga diga ekranda blancasta kade Kobo ya da dasta kanda engradi kubala lisa e kaba ya da bashata engraba shata ila la la bahasa e ba 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 ra ba 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 e da ba kashata engrada shata ya e kala la ba e ba da shata e kaba shata e kaba shata la da 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 e kaba shata da e la kala shata e kaba shata in Jesus name. Yamie, what is Yamie do? It's him abo. What is that drama and son? Romans eight twenty eight. Yamie, your son he ne. Amen, he na kutuno. Amen, so me kutuno. Romans eight twenty eight. And we know that all things work together for. Good to those who love God. Anybody who loves God here? I'm not, I'm not seeing you. Anybody who loves God here? Anybody here who loves God? Oh, somebody say all things. Not some things. All things. Works together for those who love God and those who are the call.
called according to his purpose anybody called here according to God's purpose do you believe you are called by God and you love God all things are working together for your good the bad the good and the ugly the negativities and the positivities all the bad 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 things happening including this COVID-19 pandemic that has brought the world to a standstill God says I should tell you all things including this one yeah will work together for your good who told you you are going down I discovered from scriptures after this many years of working with God that when the word goes chaos and the world goes bad that's where we the children of God sees the blessing of God check through scriptures in the days of Noah when the flood was flooding everything the ark of Noah was sitting on the waters the very waters that covered everything the same water directed this ark to the mount of Ararat the world thinks that this thing is frustrating the church uh -uh. in the stead it is directing the church there could be issues but Christ are putting themselves together ladies and gentlemen pastors who are not working right are working right this thing will near to our benefit i'm here to announce to you that if in farming joseph rose to prominence and became a prime minister then this thing will lift up you and bring a blessing to you i thought you would clap and shout amen all things all things all things Okay. I didn't even know people were watching us until the crisis came and all of us were locked in. <laughs> then I saw the way people were watching. A lot of people had to go and buy the decoders and watch us on our channel, Rima TV. Why? Because all things will work together for our good. And the gospel has gone. People have heard the name Jesus preached. I was surprised when I was receiving um, mails from Chinese people. Unfortunately, I couldn't read them. We had to just do the transcript and everything. What I'm saying is that God, through all this, is still gaining ground and gaining glory. All things will work together for your good. But Bishop, I lost a job. I lost a job. One sister told me she lost a job. She came to the office with sat down and I said, sweetheart, can you plan something doing than waiting for a job? And yesterday she spoke to me and she said she has started something on her own. And she needs my blessing. And I prayed with her. Listen, in the midst of all this, God is still doing something. So don't lose heart. Are we clapping? Are we? Is that a good word? All things are working for my good. It's intentional. Stand up to your feet. Never failing. All things are working for my good. See that come, sing it for me. It's intentional. Lift your hands up. Let's watch you come out. If you can sing it, come and sing with us. If you believe in lift your hands up, come on, sing it now.
Give the Lord your loudness shout if you believe all things are working for you. All right. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 and 20. My last scripture verse and then we'll stand on it to pray. Don't sit down. We are still in the anointing. Isaiah 1 19 and 20. Don't sit down please. We are about to pray. Okay. Thank you. Isaiah 1 19. It says, let's read together. All of us wanted to go. Personalize it. If I am willing. Uh -huh, instead of the you are willing. Okay. If I am willing uh -huh, and obedient, I shall, that's a strong word, uh -huh, eat the good of the land. If I am willing and obedient, how many of you are willing and obedient? You shall eat the good of the land. Who told you that things are rough? I was on social media and one of the slave queens was having a birthday party and somebody had bought Range Rover for her in this COVID-19. What are you talking about? Can I talk to you? God will embarrass you with some serious blessings. <laughs> Lift your hands up. Say, Lord God, I am willing and I'm obedient. I am willing and obedient. As I lift up prayer today. As I lift up prayer today. Protect me and my house. Protect me and my and house. Let your blessings and let your blessings overtake us. Overtake us. Can you lift up prayer? Begin to pray. In your word i believe in your word i declare therefore today i declare therefore today the goodness and mercy the goodness and mercy shall follow me shall follow me all the days of my life all the days say father father i declare from today i declare from that today every good and perfect gift that every good and perfect gift for my life for my life will be released from above will be released from and above. say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i refuse I refuse any negative thing. Any negative thing. And I pray today. And I pray today. That goodness, that goodness will, be my portion. will be my portion. If you believe that's your heritage, clap and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I declare on your lives that anything sorrowful, anything frustrating, and anything depressive never access your dwelling Amen. i pray that you will experience the unprecedented goodness of god Amen. god will be so good to you people will look at you and they will not even understand receive it now houses you did not build vineyards you didn't plant jobs you don't have qualifications for do you believe god can do all this a husband you you know that is not meant for you but god will give him to you anyway i release his goodness upon your life yeah you will escape some traps of death i release the goodness of god and prophesy that as for you and your house you will serve the lord receive the blessings of goodness can you clap and give him praise Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Sixties. Come here. Who is JB? Your mom. Where is she? In Tamale. Where? Jirapa. Let's put our hands on our brother. 
How could I have had JB if God has not spoken? Normally, we look at JB, we are looking at the man. Stretch your hands here. We're praying for our brother that God preserves mama wherever she is. You did say amen. Is he a farmer? Is he a farmer? Huh? A trader. Call her and tell her if anybody tells her to go and escort her in the farm, she's not going. Because I see a snake bite. And this will happen within the next one month. Okay, so we are praying against any attack of the sword. You can't be here, experience God's goodness, and something evil is happening to your mama, Jirapa. Stretch your hands on our brother. Say, Father, every attack on mama, every attack on mama, we cancel and destroy. We cancel and we destroy. Can you lift a prayer just in testimony? <laughs> This is how we win. I cover you. Jesus mighty name. May it affect your man. Okay. Sit down. Um, is anybody called Texan? Texan. Is that your name? Come on in. Is your first time coming here? Is it your second time? Stretch your hands on our dear brother. Are you a pastor? A man of God. Hey. A man of God. Do you watch me on Rima TV? Yeah. Have you prayed desiring that the grace of me will come on you all the time? Yeah. When I'm preaching, you use your face to touch my face on the screen. You tell God you need a double portion of what is on my life. <laughs> You know, like Jesus said, when the woman touched the hem of his garment, I felt virtue left me. Whilst I was preaching, I felt virtue leaving me. I didn't know where it was going, but I felt something left me and entered him. And God said, tell him he's blessed. You are, you are Texan what? Huh? Blessing Texan. So you are blessed. Amen. <laughs> Paranomics here. I release the blessings on you. Thank you, Lord. Someone with this strong stomach problem has been healed. If you are the one, rush to me, come standing right now and let me seal it. This strong stomach pain. But God just healed you. So if you are the one, don't, don't hesitate. Just come, let me just seal it. Run quickly, run, run. You take your miracle. Glory to God. For how long has it been there? Huh? Two months now. And you felt healed right now. It's gone and it's not coming again. I declare you completely healed. In Jesus' name. And I lose the blessing on you. In Jesus' name. All right. All of you sit down. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We have just some few minutes to do that. But I hope somebody's blessed. Are you clapping? Are we clapping? Are we clapping? Are we clapping? If you're watching me on social media and on Rima TV. God is not limited. I release the blessings on you and declare. If you are sick in any part of the world, put your hand there. Those of you in the hall, if you are sick, put your hand in any place where you're aching. I curse every sickness and I command every wood made whole as I release the healing anointing to flow through you. May God show you his goodness in your body. Be healed now. Power through your pancreas, your kidney, your liver, your bladder. I speak healing into your body and declare you healed. Diabetes now, and I declare you yes in Jesus' name. In case you don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you want to say, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of the Living God. You came to die for my sins on the third day, you resurrected from the grave. You are alive forever. Come live in me, change my life, and I will save you the rest of my days. Amen. 
you are born again find yourself a bible believing church and if you're in accra i invite you to rcc every sunday we have three services seven in the morning nine in the morning eleven in the morning amen god bless you let's clap for the lord hallelujah praise god now take your offerings take your offerings we believe in giving as god's precious people we believe that one of the how to attract his goodness is to give and then it shall be given back to us good measure pressed down shaken together running over god will cause men to give it back to us we believe that when we give to support ministries like this for us to go all over the world and preach the gospel god will in no wise leave us unrewarded he will certainly reward us and bless the works of our hands all right that's why consider so in a city of you watching me on rima tv yeah you have the momo number some people were speaking against it <laughs> yeah yeah you have to be a cake in this 21st century never to tell people to sow online whilst they are watching you online but we have to blend with the time and the season and then be dig it out am i communicating yeah because we have people watching us all over the world and they want to sow and so you have the moment number those of you through wave you can go ahead and do it and god will bless you as well but those in the auditorium consider sowing a seed to support this ministry you've been watching us and uh, you know that we love the lord with passion and we really want to do the work but how can they hear until we are sent how can we be sent until you give the money for us to go and be a blessing to god's people hallelujah i tell people salvation is free but the means to preach it is expensive if being on rima tv is free we won't take the offering if coming here we don't pay light we don't pay the instrumentalists we have almost about 100 and something staff for all the 200 churches and we pay them that's why we take offering to support the work we are doing and to help to help solve some of the unemployment problems in ghana can you clap for church that's why we do offerings to support the work of god praise god all right so lift your offerings and let's pray we'll bless every offering lifted and declare the hand of god to come upon us we give may it be given back to us according to scriptures in jesus name amen all right so the protocols will assist us pastor Shaw will assist us do me the song hallelujah the fragrance of my worship rose up to the father you came with your tights and you want 